Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anni. Hello. The last episode, we made a lot of progress at the Harada Estate. Before I go back there, I want to spend my six skill points. First thing I'm going to spend it on is four of them on increasing the potency of the healing gourds. And the other two... I'm a little bit torn. So there's this one here. I want to get either this one, Nightjar Slash, which is like a... I don't know the proper name for it, but it's like an active combat ability that you have to equip. And then there's also this Makiri Counter thing, which is just like a passive that you'll have all the time. Both take two, both give you new moves. Uh, this one's a general move I could use. This one's only in specific circumstances. When there's a thrust attack. Oh, and what is this chasing slice, actually? I also want to perform a forward dashing sword slice after using certain prosthetic tools. Oh, right, this is the one that only works with a loaded shuriken at the moment. Yeah. The one tool that I don't particularly care about. But then it unlocks some other stuff. Like Fang and Blade, which works on the loaded axe. I think I'm going to go with a Nightjar Slash. So I've read it before, but just to reiterate it, a spinning leap attack that can quickly close or create distance from foes. Uh, left and right to do the Nightjar Slash, leap in with a spin and slash at the enemy. I didn't mean to do that. Let's actually get the skill. Uh, so I have to equip it. There we go. So we don't have to be at a, I was going to say bonfire, we don't have to be at a, a sculpture to do it. Just change it out in the field. Let's go test it. What if there's any new training too? Mm, nope. So let's just do free combat and test it out. So it's this. Damn. Yeah. Takes a while to charge up, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely does. You want to use it from a good distance. I was using it way too close. Yeah. Yeah, it really does close the distance really well. Alright, so we're back at the Harada estate. Uh, I'm going to try to burn myself a little bit so that I can get hurt and see how much the gourd heals now. Oh. oh. That won't burn me? Oh, here we go. Okay. So before it did about half health. Guess hey. <laughs> that didn't seem like it did that much. Is that really better? I can't tell. I mean, it has to be. Did I bought the upgrade. Did you did you savor the flavor? <laughs> I don't have to like do anything special to use latent. No, latent skills are the ones that are always active, right? Huh. Okay. All right. Let's continue. I came from over here, right? Yeah, I came out of that well, jumping from wall to wall. There's a night jar slash. It's pretty good, but I think also archers are just really weak, so. Yeah. Pulse fire really is so dramatic. I feel like I'm on the verge of sneezing. I'm on the edge of sneezing. Hmm. 
Yeah, this. Oh. The Nitro Slash doesn't seem to really stagger the enemy at all. Like, I don't think I've seen anybody have their attack interrupted by using it. Yeah. I wish they had subtitles to, like, tiny little character things like that. Like, what are they yelling? Yeah. I'm trying to deflect, by the way. Oh. <laughs> I'm just being very bad at it. There we go. Aww. Still have a lot of trouble with the slow attacks. Then again, I have a lot of trouble with fast attacks. I guess I have trouble with all attacks. <laughs> That's bisexuality for you. Yeah. Divine confetti. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Confetti. Wait, yum, yum, yum. You don't eat confetti. Oh, fuck. I mixed it with, um, confection. Oh. Confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. Oh, I don't like this. Papers made ceremoniously. Uh, whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless the waters, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in its touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-type enemies. I know what that implies. We're going to be fighting ghosts. Yeah. It's like foresight in Pokemon. It's like what? Foresight in Pokemon. It allows fighting and normal-type attacks that oh. hurt ghost-type Pokemon. I wonder how you could possibly damage apparitions if you don't have that then. Maybe you just can't at all? Yeah, maybe you just run away or stealth. God, so much is destructible. I love it. Oh my god, even that's destructible? Holy Freaking walls. Shit. I guess just the thin parts in between, not the not the load bearing things. <laughs> but these. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you just if you destroy enough parts in the building, the whole thing caves in and you die. That'll be in Dark Souls 4. What are they gonna make a Dark Souls 4? I thought they were done with the series, but I'm not sure. Looks like we have to swim. Oh. It's knee deep. God, it's so hard not to say, like, dirty jokes here. <laughs> like, it's knee deep. And I was like, oh, kind of like my pussy. But I didn't say it. I didn't say it. So. You kind of just did, though. I didn't. No need to edit. Okay. <laughs> ah, I knew it'd have pellets. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Guess I'll take out one of the shieldies. Yeah. Shit. 
Juzo the drunkard. Who? Where? Where is the drunkard? Oh, I see him. Holy shit. He's not human, is he? I don't think so. Does getting drunk make you look like that? <laughs> I don't think is that can. alcoholism? <laughs> Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Okay, so is that everybody? I don't know what they're doing. That doesn't sound good. Casting a lightning or something? Oh, I think they put poison on their blade. Ooh. They're drinking something? Oh, they're probably just drinking alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Ugh. Wait, can I jump off of their face, though? They're so tall. I imagine Zoya jumped her pretty tall, aren't they? Oh. Oh. God damn, they're big. Well, I'm glad you died, because now I can tell my... Game theory about Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's gonna be a first time Nintendo from Software crossover. It's Pokemon game, but completely in the Dark Soulsian style. That could be pretty awesome. <laughs> but it's never gonna happen. <laughs> we'll see when Sword and Shield comes out. Oh. It's cool. I don't think I can really do anything up here. Yeah. Wasn't there one that was like a skill point thing that you could get that was like concealing your presence? Yeah. I think you should work towards that next. Yeah. Well, wait, shit, can I just get a backstab on the drunkard? I don't think I can. I think they're right around the corner. And like, not possible. Nah, no way. Yeah. They really went like, okay, no more, no more cheesing, guys. Oh God, no, no. Oh. I, I can't go up there anymore? I don't understand why you can't use your second resurrect. Yeah. I know you said... Uh, somewhere it said you can't use the resurrects um, too close together in time. Like, you have to wait a little bit. Oh. You can't use them in quick succession, so you have to stay alive for a certain amount before you can use the next one. Uh, Maybe. 
They're stay alive. I thought oh I was out of the God. way. Oh, like here. I stayed alive long enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I've got a lot of money saved up, so I want to spend it. And I've got plenty of emblems. So I guess I'll buy Robert's Firecrackers. One yeah. of the few things left for sale at the crow mob memorial thing you should also buy antidote powder since the enemy the boss uses mm. poison yeah i guess i'll just buy as much as i can which is all of it You got it. Yeah. I wonder if they would try to attack me if I did. Crows are friends. Well. Who the hell is that? <laughs> See it. Who is that? They're helping me? Okay, and I'm poisoned now. Uh, I don't have it on my hotbar. I should. Let's get rid of this. Antidote powder. Now... I do want it. I guess we gotta go here if we want to use it in here. Yes. Oh, thank you for the help. Were they there the whole time? Or did they just come if you, like, fail a certain amount of times? Huh. Maybe it only activates if you go on top of the rock. <laughs> Hmm, could be. Oh no, I think they died. Rip! Well, they helped me a lot. Thank you. Technique. What? You could try the oil and fire technique. Hmm. I could. I want to try deflecting them though. Okay. Before I start spinning spirit emblems. Valid. All right. Here we go. Deflect. Deflect. Deflect at one, didn't you? 
No. You guarded it. Okay. Oh my god. I think they're one of those people where you need to get down their vitality. So you can really probably break their posture. I'm not sure though. I, I need the fight to last longer to really be able to tell. Oh, uh, wow, we got a good amount of money again. Yeah, you feel really lucky to get on scene aid. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy a bunch more spirit emblems. Like, a bunch more. Can you buy, you can buy as many as you want at a time, okay. Cool. I got a shit ton, got 127 in storage. Uh, yeah, that person's back. Cool. What, dude? Oh! Can you talk to them before the battle, or...? Probably. Okay, this time they're alive to help me with the main boss. Yeah. Do I have a... I don't have a resurrection? You already used it. Oh, I didn't even remember. Okay. Not doing amazing. Uh, I have no healing gourds left. Got some pellets, but, uh, yeah, let's talk to this person before we start the fight, see if that makes any difference to anything. Let's do it. Got one, yes. there's another one. Oh, okay, I'm done for. Oh, so close though. Yeah. The attitude also died in solidarity. 
Now imagine doing this fight without the other person. Oh. <sighs> oh. Wow. I just keep getting unseen aid again and again. Lucky. Well, 28 more spirit emblems. Here we go. Alright, so I'm going to try the fire thing on the big dude. Oh, hi. Oh. Jesus. Big dude. Like my status if you agree that that dude is big. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. This is gay oppression. I have no pellets, that's great. Oh, F. Okay, and the dude's about to die. And they're dead. Almost. They're on fire, right? Oh, yeah. they were. Great. Okay, so I just spent uh, two skill points on Makiri Counter. Gives us that special counter against thrust attacks. Next, I'm going to save up for Suppressed Presence, making me harder to, de harder to detect in stealth. Alright, here we go. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, no. Come, I need your help, dude. Yeah, fascinating, cool. No, don't come for me! Okay, I think that's all the little, little ones. Oh, did the dude die? Where are they? I think oh. they died. Welp. What? Welp. You're not real bad off though, you got to revive someone... ...thing. <laughs> Gord. Namagachi. That seems to really stun him. All right, well, that's all I can do with that. Okay, I have actually two resurrections, although I need to stay alive long enough to use the second one. I have no pellets. Oh, oh I have a healing gourd. I forgot about that. 
Plus twist. Okay, so... So their posture isn't very hurt right now, but their vitality is very low, which means their posture is ultra susceptible. So... I kind of want to run out the clock so I can use my second revive. Play really safe. Um... God, I also want to keep doing my strategy of just honestly, like, running in and doing a strong attack, running out. My main advantage seems to be that they're very slow and I'm very fast. So, I'm going to keep that up. Bait an attack out. Try to do something. Miss. Their vitality's so low. Oh no, no. Yes. Okay, okay, I also had a question. Does their, their vitality goes back up. It resets, okay. Yeah. All right, well this is really working actually and I already have time to use my second um, thingy. Fuck! Oh god, I'm so scared of those double attacks. I'm not sure when they're coming. Oh no! It was a double! Fuck you! <sighs> you better not be one of those ones that requires a special finishing move that I saw on one of the hint screens and one of the low screens. You're not, thank you! Unrefined <sighs> sake, you tasteless shit. You don't even like refined sake. Bottle <laughs> of cloudy, unrefined sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of Ish Ishin Ashina's favorites. It has a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. Prayer bead. Three anal beads. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. What? Uh, my wife is funny and really good at video games. Holy shit, I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> Should I leave that in the recording? Yes. Okay. So, just to reflect on that fight. Oh, that was a good fight. Um, There's definitely other methods I could have used to finish the fight like for example i basically didn't deflect at all but god that strategy really worked i think it's fine that i didn't deflect it's not like you have to use every type of possible way of winning a fight to win the fight i mean i saw that the main advantage that i have over the enemy is that it is or they are very slow they're very large they're very slow and i'm very fast so Sprinting in, like baiting an attack out of them, sprinting in for a strong attack, and then running out is a damn good tactic. I'm trying to convince myself that I didn't cheese that fight. You didn't. You dark souls did. Yeah, that was just a good strategy. Good strategy is not cheesing a fight. But with a fast enemy, that's definitely not going to work. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to deflect. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs>